I never try to disrupt anyone or I'm not trying to do anything bad. I'm trying to basically create art out of real people and real life. I like in street photography, you can just take it. You don't have to ask for it, you can just take it. In the skyscraper canyons and alleyways of Chicago, Jason Martini practices street photography. It's an art form that's been around since the Eastman Kodak Company introduced the first portable camera in 1884. Shortly thereafter, there was some public backlash. Even then, people had privacy concerns. They worried about their photos appearing in newspaper print for all their neighbors to see. And now, more than 120 years later, people are pretty much concerned with the same thing. Instead of worrying about the newspaper reaching neighbors, we now worry about photos reaching across the globe through sites like Facebook, Google Street View, and even photo blogs. And with new technologies pushing boundaries, privacy continues to be a battle street photographers must fight. But those like Martini think the art of capturing a purely candid photo in a public place trumps any privacy concerns. It's like that intense, hands-on kind of people watching. You wonder what everyone's story is and where they're going to, what kind of story you, know, you can make of them is the fun part. It could just be a guy crossing the street, but that guy is a character doing something you know, really bad. He's doing something really crazy, something shady about that guy. I'm not trying to degrade him or make him look bad in any light. I'm just trying to really create a powerful image. But I get the sense that Martini feels a little ambivalent about his craft, like he's towing the line coming close to crossing it, but not quite. He talks about his street shooting techniques with boyish excitement, but there's also a dose of sheepishness in his descriptions. You have to be a little sneaky about it. What I do a lot of is what they call shoot from the hip. So shooting from the hip means shooting without looking through the viewfinder. Just as it sounds from the hip, because you know sometimes the camera's at your hip or at your chest, and there's a million different ways you can be a little sly about taking photos. You gain sort of tricks. And so shooting from the hip, I can hold the camera at my chest, walking towards you, and unless you're really paying attention or you may hear my, my shutter go off, you're not gonna know necessarily what I'm doing. Walking down Monroe Street, headed towards State, the photographer is slowly looking around for interesting subjects to shoot, slowly turning half an inch by half an inch, looking through his lens, looking outside of his lens, just searching for characters. He spots a man on the corner. He looks interesting. I would normally follow him for at least a block or two. He was kind of clueless. I mean, he just, he, he didn't even look, look at me. I'm standing right next to him. He's got that awesome hat on. I'm a sucker for fedoras. A silhouette of a guy in a fedora is like awesome to me. I decided to talk to the people Martini is shooting. I wondered, do they see him? Do they care? We both spot a man waiting for a bus. Martini raises his camera, frames the man, and takes a few snaps. Then I approach and ask the man how he feels about it all. I think it's a, a problem today because of everybody's sense of risk and security and being identified and taken advantage of. If I was, were caught in some compromising situation, I would be very offended. We spot another good subject, a young woman in a hurry. Oh, I did, when did you take, you just took my picture? Well, it's, it, it, this is, it's nothing. Oh, you know, okay, to, well, I did, this is how oblivious I am. I didn't even know this. Well, are I'm, people like me who are like completely oblivious so that you even took a picture? So like, let's say tomorrow you went on some website and you saw a picture of yourself walking down the street. How would you feel? If it's a good picture, I would be really, I'd be like, like awesome. I'd email it to everyone. But if it's bad, I'd be like, oh crap. <laughs> but I wouldn't, I wouldn't care. Unless it was, you know. There's nothing illegal about taking photos of people in a public place. 
artistic and journalistic photography mostly fall under protection of the First Amendment, which extends to the internet. But protected by law or not, some people will always get upset. I had one guy said, hey, I, I see you clicking away there. And I said, I'm not clicking away at anything. That's, that's all I could say to him. Well, I, I, did, I clicked at him, yes. I wasn't clicking away, though. I wasn't just clicking. Yeah, I was clicking away at him. He got me.